If you have a basement and you don't have a crawl space slab, but you actually have a basement, whether it's a, a Michigan basement, which I got a duck when I go down the stairs and I, you, I can't stand up. I'm, you know, I'm six foot two. I can't, I can't do that in a Michigan basement, but any basement, no matter if it's a Michigan basement, a shallow basement, or if it's one that has say nine or 10 foot walls because it was built with a drop ceiling in mind, all basements, you don't wanna put the drain right up against the house, okay? And I'll tell you why. If you got a basement wall, it's gonna run right down the basement wall you're literally giving the water a better path than it originally had. So you're going to have you're going to have the water just literally washing down your bait. Look at concrete, even with tar on it, even with some visqueen on it, it's impossible to button up everything all the way to the footer on the basement because a well, Michigan basement's five feet, and then if you have just a, a standard basement, it's eight feet, nine feet. There's just no way concrete can be sealed tight. So if you put this up against a basement wall tight, the water now is just going to... You made it worse. The water is going to go right through that rock, uninterrupted, where like clay up against the house, like we left clay up against the house. So now we got our drain here because we got sheet water. We got sheet water coming off the road and we want to catch all that so this is a curtain french drain when you do a french drain around a basement like this on the outside of the house this is referred to as a curtain french drain and it is awesome this is absolutely by far the best line of defense to have when you have a basement and you're dealing with water problems in that basement if you evacuate the water and you evacuate the water properly, you are not going to have nearly as much. On some of these older basements, I understand there might be still a little bit of water that might get in an old basement. You know, I worked for a realtor a couple decades ago, and I always repeat what he said, and I've never forgotten what he said. He said with basements, it's not will they leak, it's when. So it is a, a problem, especially with older homes. Now this home is a 1961 build. And I think the footer tile is kind of shot around the basement on the outside of the house because they're getting water between the wall and the floor. We're gonna catch this bulk water and we're gonna redirect it in hopes that that is enough. I'm sure this, this guy is gonna be so thrilled to not have to go through what he went through where his basement's been flooding. I mean, this is gonna prevent flood for sure. Will your basement still leak? Well, I gotta be honest with you. If you're getting water between the floor and the wall, chances are you might see during a really big rain event, a little bit of water. But I'll tell you what, you're not gonna be walking through water that's ankle deep in your basement. Not if you're building a curtain drain with a very good gravity discharge or our sump pump system that we make for this kind of stuff called the bad seed. The bad seed can pump this water wherever you need it, lift it up. But this is how you do basement curtain drains. Houses with basements, this is how you want to do it. This one's a gravity drain. And it goes down to the street. There's a ditch. It's, the front yard's pretty flat, but the uh, but the ditch, we, we went through the bank and we 
We got the water out of here. We're, we're gonna be able to gravity drain this for the homeowner. 